Right folks, how are we all? Back with a beer review. Now, when I used to be associated with our local football team many years ago in the 90s and the 2000s, um, we used to play away at a team called Highfield Rangers in Leicester. Uh, the team was predominantly West Indian, a few Asian lads thrown in, and um, we used to go over there, and to be fair, we were fucking terrified. <laughs> Yes, they were rough. They were rough boys. Uh, <laughs> uh, they certainly got stuck in and put the fear of fucking God into you. Uh, anyway, uh, after the football were done and the result was played out or whatever, um, you go into their uh, clubhouse and we always had a good laugh with them, to be fair. Um, it was like you played the football, you left it on the football pitch and that was it. It was okay. It was good. Uh, and you go in the clubhouse, and uh, now I'm not being stereotyping here, but they always used to do fried chicken and rice and peas, and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. The old days in the back in the cooking uh, in the kitchen were doing all the cooking, and it was great. Really, 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 really proper cooking. Come out with an extra few pounds on me, but. Uh, when you was in the chain in the clubhouse, um, they did have this drink called Dragon Stout. Mm. Dragon Stout, um, and we used to play at uh, Elston. Elston. Elstonians? Why did I want to say Elstonians? Oh, that's who Goody used to play rugby for, weren't it? Old Elstonians. Uh, Elston. And they used to sell Gillespie's uh, stout. That were really good. Now, back in the day, I used to drink lots and lots of Guinness, lots of stouts and stuff like that. I love them, absolutely love them. And so this is gonna be a bit, not really a review. This is more of a trip down memory lane when we used to play football teams away and what they used to drink there. Excuse me. Um, so anyway, they did this. And I've seen it in, uh, where did I see it? it? Tesco's or somewhere. I weren't even looking for any beer. It was just like, you go into Tesco's in Loughborough, uh, you have to go down to the crisp aisle and the biscuit aisle. Well, you don't have to, do you? Huh, but you do. Um, and anyway, you come back, and I don't go walking down the wine bit, because fucking wine. Who drinks wine? Why wine? It's just like dead grapes. Then it's all dry and I just don't get it. And they go, oh, it's got a fruity aroma, beauty. Fuck off. Fucking fruity aroma, my arse. My arse has got more aroma than fucking wine. Um, so anyway, I walked down and anyway, it just caught me eye. It was like jumping out at me. It was like, hey, come on, Dave, pick me up. Remember me when you used to come over to oh, let's do, oh, let's do, oh, Rangers, uh, oh, Rangers, uh, Highfield Rangers. Uh, so I anyway, picked it up. Can't remember the price. Don't even matter. Uh, it's a 284 milliliter bottle. It's a product of Jamaica. Uh, I'm not going to do no Jim Davison kind of voice. So don't even go there. Uh, it's 7.5 in, uh, in alcoholic volume, and it's been going since 1920. Um, is there anything else written on the side? No. So, let's sup in. Save the uh, bottle cap for Ginge. Sounds like a fair swap. Now, I did have a bloody beer glass from uh, Brew London, but I can I find it? Can I find it? Ask me if I can find it. Go on, say, Dave, can you find your, brew, uh, your glass from Brew London? No, I can't. Don't know where it's fucking gone. It's one of them things where I think it's probably been knocked off and broke and they've kept it from me. Or it's either in Gingy's bedroom. And I am not going in Gingy's bedroom. You need to be bare grills to go into that thing. Dark, rich, 
it's got a fizz, it's got a one finger head that's uh, slowly evaporating. Now, uh, it, we used to get this, and no, it's not evaporating though, is it? That's holding quite well. Now, I've seen Scott do this. What's that do? Comments down below what that does. Do you know what I'm getting? Do you know what I'm getting right, folks? Cherries. Getting a bit of a cherry smell. I'm also getting like a brownie sugar kind of thing, but I don't know really, it's just... Bit of kind of coffee or some kind of caffeine in it. But it's there. I'll do the swell of the glass. So, 7.5. Let's sup in. That is good. I love it. Oh yeah, you can taste the cherry. It has got like a cherry kind of thing on it. Cherry kind of flavour, cherry kind of twang, cherry kind of cherry. And you have other the you have these other stouts. I mean, like, what did I do the other day? Oh, I had a oh, you ain't it ain't come out yet. It's it's one I've got in the bank. Uh, a review just in case I need to chuck something out but I've gone beyond doing that and that is absolutely spot on no wonder it's been going since 1920 um, it is an absolutely lovely little stout It is. It really is nice. If you if you like, I'll have to have a look, see if the Guinness Guru's done this, because I like watching the Guinness Guru. He intrigues me, um, the way he travels around and stuff. And um, I'll have to see if he's done this. Guinness Guru, if you've not done it, well, you ain't going to watch me here. But do this, mate. I'm going to have a look now, see if you've um, done it. But this is nice. It's still holding its head. You do that. Apparently you do that. And it is really, really good. I would imagine it makes you shit black though in the morning. It's got a real nice sweetish kind of stout flavour to it. You can taste the cherry. I am getting a bit of like a, a sugary, brown sugary, a brown sugar, uh, and uh, all that to it. It is really, really good. I love it. And I'm, I might even buy a few more of these. Because you could... At this moment now, folks, what I've started to do, I've started to um, sit uh, at night, me and June, she'll sit on the, uh, on a fucking reclining, dining, fucking table chair thing that I got her from, <sighs> what is it, that one where the, the chairs go up and down and up and all over, the, it's not a sex chair, it's a recline and lift your legs up and one of them things so she sits down there i sit on the other chair and i do and we and like i'll do a bit of research on stuff that i i might do for youtube or whatever um or future plans that we have happening that doesn't involve you lot <coughs> excuse me and I sit there and I've got my beer at the side of me and I just sit my beer i don't eat i don't rush it now back in the day it was like Get one down, you get another one. Get one down, you get another one. And I've gone beyond that now. And this is the perfect little drink to be actually just sat next to you where you just reach over and take a sip. And that's it. And that's all you want sometimes. And I think this is one of them drinks. This is one of them where if it's 7.5, you can sit there all night, well not all night, but you know what I mean, a, a fair while, and just sit that, and it doesn't seem to lose its taste or its flavour, it's ideal.
It, it really, really is a nice little drink. Um, I, I would, I would like to know what other beer reviewers think. I am not a beer reviewer. I review myself and life. But I'd be just interested to see uh, Dean's beer reviews, what he thinks of it, what Scott and Wanda think of it as well, because. Um, it is a nice little beer. It's a nice little stout. I know Wanda likes the stouts. <laughs> She's with Scott. How much stout can you get? Um, but it's there. It is really, really good. So, um, if you see this and you're walking up and down the aisles, if you've gone to the crisps or the biscuits and you're working your way to the tills and you have to walk down the beer aisle, look. Oh, no, it weren't. Hold on. Was it in um, Own Bargains? should make a note of these things because it's important really if you're reviewing something and you people want it you want to know where to get it from don't you i know you can get it in sainsbury's i know you can get it in sainsbury's um and i know you don't drink it while you're pregnant not much chance of that is there even if i want to be can't get pregnant it's a fact um yeah I'd love to see what other people review of it. In fact, when I finish this video, I'm going to go and have a look, see on the uh, on the tablet to see if anybody has reviewed this because um, I like this. It really is good. It's a nice little drink, uh, and I, I bet Jamaicans just sit there drinking it in the sun all fucking day. How lucky are they? I've got a sneeze brewing. I've got a, oh no, it's a fly. Can you see it on the camera? No. It's gone. Fuck off. That is really good. Fuck off. It's a bit like, uh, I know this is gonna sound stupid, but because of the taste of the cherry, it's a bit like, well, fuck off. Uh, it's a bit like a Black Forest Gatto. That kind of um, filling the sweet, sugary taste. So, is it Black Forest Gatto in a glass? Needs trimming nasal hair. Fuck off. What is it? Flies. And that's still got a head. You know, it's still got a reminiscence of a head. So it certainly lasted. All right, folks, I'm going to down this and then I'm going to look on there and see who else has reviewed this. Ladies.